everyone. This is a spiral stretch segment. Um, it's something that I do often just to unwind after a busy day in the studio. Um, I've got my treat in my hand. She hasn't discovered it yet, or maybe she has. She's, she's hunting for the, the whole box of treats here. Um, the first thing I want to do is start seated here. Just kind of finding my sits bones, imagining that my spine is suspended up from the clouds today. If you're sitting in a chair, you can absolutely do this in a chair, by the way. Same feeling that you're just, you're just spine and bones floating, happen to be inside your body. Just allow that disc space to be fluffed and opened and pumped up a bit, like you would fluff a pillow. I'm going to set my treat right here since she's not paying attention. My feet are a little bit wider than hip distance apart. I want to start with a spine stretch, a rotation. So just floating the arms out here, letting them rest on the air. I'm drawing my belly button in, zipper pulled up. And I'm just going to begin a rotation of the rib cage, bringing the elbow back and center and to the other side and just going with the flow and the suspension of the spine axial elongation suspension it's not an elbow pull. I'm not forcefully drawing an arrow back. Just more of a lining, lifting, allowing the chest to be open. Going for, to the other side, we can do a little pulse. We can do three, two, one. And we can take it to the other side. Three, two, one. Getting a little taller, creating a little more lift between the vertebra. It's called spine twist seated. We do this on the reformer. Kneeling although it can be done seated as well. One more to the other side. And back to center. From here we can go into a beautiful saw. So rotating now with the arms out floating. You're going to imagine a doorknob in your back hand and you're just going to turn that doorknob. Not so much with the wrist but more the muscles of the upper arm. Not to go into the shoulder, it's not gonna be that dramatic, but more for length here. Now, the other arm, pinky, is going to just saw above the pinky of its opposite diagonal leg. So just allowing that flexion, where you look at the angel on your shoulder, but you listen to the other one on the other shoulder. And then you rebuild your spine, let go of that doorknob, and come back to center. To the other side, look at the angel on your shoulder, listen to the other one. And just keep moving through this beautiful spiral. Imagine just going over that beach ball, suspending the spine, flexing. It's the diagonal flexion of that Miss America sash, shoulder to opposite hip. 
floating the rib cage. Check your heels that they're not shifting around. You're not stepping on the gas. There's no pedaling of the legs or feet. How about one more set here? And back to center and float your arms down. The last thing I'd like to do is a mermaid with a rotation. So I am going to sit Z formation toward you going to take this beautiful side bend mermaid and allow the rib cage its rotation, relaxing that shoulder a bit, relaxing that opposite hip, and then a beautiful recovery with that mirror image rotation. And another one a mermaid to a beautiful rotation. Again, that Miss America sash. How about the third time's a charm? Beautiful rotation. Letting the legs just rest on your mat. And then let's switch a side bend mermaid. Your sides are sisters, not twins. There's the rotation. Oh, I missed it on the other side. That's okay. Live theater. I have two more choices, two more chances. Beautiful rotation. This can begin to go into a little chest lift if you like. side bend with that rotation and one more here and beautiful a nice way to end it I've lost my dog hey Bella oh, there she is good workout Good workout. Have fun with it, you guys. We'll see you soon.